Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dr. Ryan. This is your five minutes of fire. And that's going to be Aaron. and Dr. Aaron. Hi. This is going to be your two minutes of fire today because we're getting poured on. And uh, today's video is about the process is the point. You know, we all want to focus on the prize and the goal and the end result and you know getting the award or winning the game or you know achieving the result. But the reality is, you've got to you've got to enjoy the process and you've got to embrace the process too. Our pastor this morning was talking about mountaintop ex experiences and how, uh, you know, there are several things in our lives that constitute a mountaintop experience, like having a baby, getting married, uh, you know, winning a championship, uh, achieving a certain level of success in business, uh, you know, fitness goals, that kind of stuff. Those are all mountaintop experiences, but the point is you can't live on the mountain, number one. Like he used this example that I thought was amazing. It was, you know, like climbing Mount Everest. Like you can't live on the top of Mount Everest, even though the top of Mount Everest is amazing. You can't live there. In fact, if you tried to live up there, you'd obviously die. And there's lots of dead bodies on the top of Mount Everest because it's such a difficult thing to achieve. But what it takes is it takes living in the valley and training in the valley and enjoying the process or at least embracing the process in order to have that mountaintop experience. And so again, the video today is the process is the point. You know, uh, we obviously like to do stuff that's active and be outside and even if it's raining, you know, we find a way to do it. We got our kids covered up in the strollers back there. Uh, but the thing is, you know, the process is the point. It's like, it's like I don't, we don't, we're not necessarily having a wonderful time out here, but we, we love the feeling that we get after we do something like this. And, it, and it's the experience that makes it all worth it. You know, you have to find a way to enjoy the, valley, the valleys and embrace the valleys and find people that you like to do that stuff with and just make it fun because those valleys are gonna lead you to the next mountaintop experience. And so uh, hopefully that helps you today. I would just I would just find a way to enjoy the valleys. Just just know that being broke is is a valley, but if you can enjoy it, if you can embrace it, if you can find value in it and lessons to be learned in it, you're gonna find the mountaintop. If you can uh, you know, figure out a way to, to embrace, uh, you know, mending a relationship or embrace, um, you know, being out of shape or having a health issue, but then learn something from it, do something about it and, and find a way to enjoy the process or, or just recognize that the process is the point. It's not always just the destination, you know, because you could get dropped off on the top of Mount Everest, but that's not nearly the same thing. You know, it's the years of work that it took to get there. It's the years of work to build a practice and to build a family. And Aaron and I are going to celebrate 11 years of marriage this summer. And there's lots of valleys, lots of mountaintop experiences, but the valleys make the mountaintop experiences that much better. And the way I look at it is there wouldn't be a mountaintop if there weren't a valley on each side. Yep. You know what I mean? If everything was a mountaintop, that's called a plateau. That's called a desert. There's no, there's no peaks, you know? And so you have to have valleys in order to have the mountaintops. But the difference is you'll enjoy your life a lot more if you can find a way to enjoy the valleys and recognize that the process is the point. Yeah, I just wanted to add too that you should definitely surround yourself with people who can appreciate the valleys. You know, obviously running out here in the rain by myself would have been a lot more miserable, but we both kind of look at each other along the way and it's just kind of like, yep, this really stinks and I'd much rather be at home probably under a blanket watching TV, but we're out here together rooting each other on. You know, I passed, crossed paths with a woman on a bike and she just gave me that laugh and that nod like, yep, this really stinks, but we're out here and nobody else is. So, you know, that's what's rewarding about it. Just find people that, that want to do these things with you too. That's what life's all about. Relationships, enjoying the valleys, and ending up celebrating on the mountaintop. Have a great day. We'll see you, ne see you next time.